I'm doing a quick video on removing the dash in my 95 Civic. And mainly this video is just so that I know how to get this thing back together. I don't think it's too complicated. I've seen a few videos online. So obviously there's already a bunch of videos on there. There's already a bunch of information online, but I want to document it myself to make sure I know how to get this thing together. So I already got the steering column dropped down and that was only four bolts. We had one bolt here, or rather not two nuts. And then we have a bolt on each side. The other one's right there. And this thing dropped down when I took those four bolts out. These are those two side bolts, like I said. And then the top bolts, nuts, are for this right here. So we got that dropped down and we'll be able to take care of this janky alarm system that was on the car that didn't even work. So it's nice that I dropped this down. We'll be able to take care of that finally. And then the main reason we're removing the dash is for our wire tuck activities over there. So now I'm gonna start taking out bolt by bolt, showing every bolt I take out and removing the dash out of the car. start taking all the dash screws out so we got you know one there um i guess those there i think this comes out with the dash um we got the screws in here and that's all i see right now so we're going to take out these panels on each side take those screws out take these side screws out and we'll see where we're at Bolts on the sides are black bolts. That was a gold bolt. Radio is out. Um, I'm not sure how you take out a stock radio, but for this radio, I just had to slide a screwdriver in there and kind of pry the tabs loose so it'll pop out. And then afterwards, I had to take that metal insert um, out of there. And that's just, you know, for the aftermarket radio. I had to bend all the tabs out, kind of pull it out. Um, the radio just has two attachment points, the antenna and the radio harness connector. Now we are going to be taking out the climate control. There are three bolts. So all the way up there is one bolt. There's one just like this on the other side. And then there is a center bolt screw, I should say, uh, right there. So we're gonna take those three screws out. And then there's some, there's some harness connectors as well. There's a cable 
connected to this. We'll have to take all that off after we get the screws out to pull this thing out. I just popped off this uh, right here, this climate control adjustment wire. So that was clipped in here and hooked up to there. Was actually, I was trying to get these plugs out, but it's actually just a harness. The one plug to the harness is right here, and the other one's right there. So, really easy actually once you get the screws out to pop that out. Okay, so currently it's this right here holding the dash in, and I do see two bolts on each side up there. So I'm gonna to try to take those out and see if it'll come out. Now I wanna get some footage of how these wires run all the way through here. So this runs up through here. You can see it's connected right there, runs over connected right there so I disconnected that you got a connection right there we need to do then it runs down connects right there and then this is our um, radio stuff this is I think this is like the cigarette lighter climate control stuff is already hanging back here that ran around and connected right under the center the other climate control plug is all the way back there, right there. I got all our dash stuff. That's that harness right here that we're disconnecting. So we just have these two more plugs and it should pop. As you can see, unfortunately, I did break a decent sized chunk off of my dash, but I'm going to take away a valuable lesson here. This was my first time ever taking a dash out of a car. And I should have had the dash secured, at least with those two bolts that go on either side, before I started trying to get that harness loose. I could have easily ran those two bolts in, it would have taken 10 seconds, and then I could have went back to trying to pry that harness out of its place. Because it does take a decent amount of force to get those clips loose on that harness. And um, while applying that force, I happened to knock the dash loose because it wasn't secured by anything and that's how it broke. So definitely a lesson learned. I would say if you're doing this job, leave those two bolts in until the very end and then take them out and then get in the middle of the dash and just lift it and pull it forward and you should be fine. You shouldn't break anything. So definitely a lesson learned. Unfortunately, I learned it the hard way, but we'll see if I can get this piece glued back in. It looks like a clean break. So honestly, it wasn't too bad to take it all out. It was about two hours, my first time doing it. Unfortunately, we did have one casualty. This piece popped off, as you saw. The dash is a lot heavier than I thought it'd be. Um, so I'll definitely make sure you have someone holding the other side and take it out with two people. But other than that, everything's fine. Um, I'm gonna glue this right on, back on with some crazy glue. Here's how it looks all stripped out. So we have tons of room to uh, finish up this wiring on the car.
Okay, so this is the center bolt that goes to the HVAC, so that bolts it in. It actually goes under like the center, you know, the center bottom. So we have all our HVAC bolts in there. And then over here, we have the three HVAC pieces. And look how crazy all this freaking disgusting stuff in there, because these cars do not have cabin air filters. Um, that's incredible. I'm so happy we're gonna be able to clean that stuff out. Look at all of it in there. So no more parking under trees. And then here is everything stripped out. So we will easily be able to get all our wiring squared away here. And I still haven't figured out where the, where the chassis harness, I guess, runs all the way behind there. Um, so I guess we won't be able to do much with that, but we'll at least be able to get some wiring squared away.